Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video, you might have guessed by the intro, is going to be about Aptasia. How do I actually remove the Aptasia? So I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to show all of you out there a video of the procedure, what I actually do, and I'm actually going to show you the actual process of getting rid of a couple of Aptasias that I have in the tank. So I hope you enjoy this video, you find it interesting and fun, but before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up and smash that notification bell. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are looking at the actual product. I'm gonna go ahead and do, you can call it an unboxing, but here's how it comes, I'm gonna show you. Okay, what you have inside, of course, is the, uh, the actual liquid. We have it here. And then we have inside comes on this bag this sealable bag it comes the syringe let me show you the syringe and then also uh two little uh well should we call it the application process then we have two applicators we have one that's straight and one that's curved now that's in reference to uh the difficulty to reaching the actual uh, Aptasia. So on some of them, you might find that it's easier to choose just the straight one, and on the others, the curved one. Okay, now all you have to do, I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, I, I know the instructions by heart. It does bring the instructions inside the uh, bottle. Matter of fact, let me show it to you. Here's the instruction. It comes in, uh, in different languages. But this is what I've been using for many, many years, so I have it all memorized. The first thing you have to do, of course, is put the uh, type of needle you're going to use to do the application. Now, these couple of them that we're going to target is on the going towards the back on the left-hand side of the, of the tank. So I'm, I decided to use this one so it will be easier for me to actually reach it. So you just go ahead, you apply it, and then... The product, you have to shake it to get all the actual ingredients bond together. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Ready to go. I'm going to put a certain amount. This will be more than enough what I'm going to use to do the actual application of Aptasia X. So now, we're going to go to the tank, and I'm going to demonstrate how I actually do it. Okay, so here we are in front of the tank, uh, aiming at the uh, ones of concern that I have, the Aptasia. I I'm going to use, this is the uh, target feeder that I have, but it's got a point. So this uh, red point, so you can more or less, I mean, you can barely see them, but I'll, I'll give you, okay, you see them right there? These, you see them? Okay, they're right, I mean, because of the black background, you can barely see them, but they're right there. You have one here and a couple of them here. Okay, now before I start, one thing that you have to make sure, very important, you turn off all the um, uh, necessary equipment that gives waves. So in, in, in other words, in my case, the MP10, I have to uh, turn off the, uh, the uh, return. And also, I went ahead and I turned off the protein skimmer. So right now, as you're looking at the tank, there's no, no current, uh, absolutely no current. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to target the uh, actual Aptasius. So here we go. Okay. As you notice, 
the behavior when you actually uh, hit them with the liquid, they're gonna go ahead and consume it and retract a bit. Now, let me see if there's another one that I could show you. Okay, that was mainly the two that I wanted uh, to demonstrate how I actually use the product. So now, pointing at it again, right there, if you notice, it's got, you know, the uh, white liquid of the Aptasia X, and now it consumes it and it actually kills it. Now, uh, what you have to do is leave it in this state uh, by... What I'm referring to, leave it in the state, is not to turn on the pumps or anything. No circulation for a period of about, I'd say, like 15 minutes. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it educational, interesting, and fun. If you liked it, don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And finally, smash that notification bell. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.